Hey guys, it's Jimmy Kelly here. Mike to it. How you doing? And we're here to talk about Star Wars because today is Revenge of the Fifth. Yeah, Revenge of the Fifth. So let's talk. Let's talk about the Sith. We got a group of people that, historically speaking, were so damn violent that they had to keep it down to two people. Yes, rule of two. Yeah. A master and an apprentice. No more, no less. Which Sith do you think was the strongest? I know the popular answer that most people are going to say and that you can completely argue. Everybody's going to be like, yo, Vader's where it's at. Vader's the most powerful. He's awesome. He's the total badass. And I get it. And I'm, I'm, I should say that. I get <laughs> yes, you, it. you should. Know what I mean? That should be the answer. <laughs> I'm going to say, my, I guess my favorite... Because he looks like a badass. He moves oh, like a badass. Yep. Yeah, you know where I'm going, bro. <laughs> Maul, baby. Darth Maul's an animal, dude. He's got the he's got the horns, man, the tattoos. He don't speak, man. He's just very, like, he's awesome. And, and I, honestly, listen, if it I, I completely agree. But he went, like, you want to talk about going out like a bitch? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. And, and again, all about the, you know, wait, all wait, about wait. his overconfidence, his hubris, man. Wait, 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 he, wait. You know, he, but... Dude, Darth Maul. I, okay, and, and again, here's the other problem with this too. Here's the other problem with this um, because you say George Lucas fuck up the prequels. Well, yeah, and you say, <laughs> oh, dude, he moves like an animal. Look at the lightsaber fight in, in Episode One. It's the best thing about the movie. You know what I mean? A dual lightsaber. It's awesome. You say, yeah. And you say, dude, if they filmed the original trilogy now, the Vader lightsabers would have been insane too. So, yeah. Count Dooku. Where does he sit? Dooku. I mean, to, okay. So we never, you know, we never see Darth Maul. Use any like force lightning, which is which is pretty advanced stuff. We never see him. We ever actually see him? Oh no, we see him. We see him move that the, thing. Yeah, we see during him move that fight. Yeah. yeah, but I think that's like it. I don't even know. Now again, doesn't mean he can't do it. He Maybe, you know, he but he we never like, see him. He do typically it. kicks people out of the way. Yeah, it's because he's so agile. He's an animal. Yeah. That dude's in peak physical condition, and you got to be a master to break out a double bladed lightsaber. Then I he was playing. then he then like that was all like have. Well, and even that, even when you see, like, when it gets halved, and now he's just got one, and you see how fast he is with that, like, I mean, dude. No, 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 then I, I was talking about his body. Oh, his body, that too. <laughs> yeah, he got halved, and that sucked. We still haven't, we still haven't put a verdict out on Count Dooku. We have not. I right. kind of feel like because of that, he automatically has to go to the last on the list. Maybe. I just, again, I just, I feel like, you know what, though, man, we don't. Well, unless you argue. Unless you argue Snoke, because we don't know him, oh, yeah, or yeah, Kylo yeah. Ren. Oh yeah, if, if, then if we can go that way, is Kylo Ren last? Kylo Ren is argumentatively not a Sith. No, and he's, he's a Jedi. He's a dark Jedi. He's also argumentatively not even a man. He's just—he's <laughs> a little punk. <laughs> but why the fuck can Kylo Ren like make everybody freeze with the Force, and nobody else was able to do that? Oh yeah. Besides well, the fact that George Lucas just chose not to do it. That's true. Yeah, no, it's honestly, I mean, that, I, and I'll be honest, that was one of the most badass things in the whole series, right in the beginning of, of The Force Awakens, when he stopped the blaster bolt, yeah. like the laser. And he, like, like does it, like, that was he sick. does it really cinematically, like, he's like this. Yeah. He's like this, and it's like, Dude, and he yeah. just knows what he's doing. And it's just, yeah. it's just sitting there, like, until he's ready to let it go, like, ten minutes later. Yeah. That was sick. Yeah, exactly. That was sick when he did that. But it really comes down to this, like, were the other guys not able to do it, or did they just not think of it and they didn't... Or never had it. Or they, and did they not have the technology Be, to make it look cool well, back then? Well, yeah, because then you could argue, oh, I'd have to rewatch it again, but in Rogue One, Vader might actually hold his hand out and, and like, one or two blasts, like, actually just bounce off his hand, it looks like. Nice. Because I, I think Vader does in the actual comics, he, uh, does that. Uh... Because I know, like, in the comic books, he actually, like, he's, like, a whole, like, expert. And, like, stops at mid-flight with the Force. Damn. Um, but we didn't determine the, sh the strongest. Your vote's Darth Maul? Well, no, but I know he's not really the strongest. <laughs> he's just such a badass I don't, I athlete, see, you know what I mean? I, fe I feel like it has to be Vader. Like, it just has to be. The amount of things that that, that guy is able to do. Yeah. It's just, he's basically, like, the point. You know, yeah, and, and again, at this, least in the films, this is where people would be like, "Of course he is. He's the chosen one." You know, blah blah blah. Like, yeah. Vader's probably yeah, he's probably the answer. I mean, although you got to imagine, I mean, Sidious is probably Sidious. You know, he's got to have 
more knowledge of the of the dark side oh, of the yeah. force, of course. And you know he, what I mean? And he had the patience. Oh, the patience, absolutely. That's the thing. And not only did he take over, he got the Republic to agree to it. Like yeah. it was a great idea. Oh yeah, no, no. This is the sound of liberty dying, you know, like <laughs> with thunder supply. Yeah, I mean, dude, Sidious, he's a boss. I mean, dude, he sees the grand chessboard and he sees how to make moves right. decades ahead of time. Right. You know what I mean? And like position the pieces mm. exactly where he needs them. So that when he calls the order for execute order sixty six, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I mean, dude, what's a, what's order sixty seven? Bring him a mai tai or something when, <laughs> when it's all done. I mean, he's supposed to be the strongest, right? In, you know, I mean, mm-hmm. but you know, you say okay, he's supposed to be the strongest, but Vader defeats him. Yeah, um, but Vader kind of defeats him cheaply. Yeah, like, he's just, just so a, old it's a, and yeah, really it's a punk, him up it's and a, just... Exactly, you know, it's, it's a punk move, you know what I mean? And he just and he's so like distracted, and you know, he just picks him up, and he's shooting force lightning everywhere, like <laughs> you know what I mean, like a geriatric dude. Just yeah, yeah. Exactly. I want to. I feel like you have to say Sidious because of his long game, unless you want to say Snoke because they almost imply that he lived through the whole reign of the Emperor. Okay. So it's almost like he's a force, forces of like Maz. Yeah. So because I, Maz Kanata is like she like lived forever. Well, yeah, I don't. We don't really well, we don't know. know. Yeah, we don't know anything about Snoke yet. You know what I mean? Or is they she like the Emperor years later? They haven't revealed that he's Mace Windu yet. You know what I mean? Who's now the Scrum? He's either Mace Windu, <laughs> Jar Jar Brinks, Darth yeah. Sidious, or there's that one um, Stormtrooper in A New Hope that gets like shot and his head goes this way and it's oh, the God. same exact uh, thing. Oh, God. Or yeah. it's... um. It's one of the uh, X-Wing pilots also. Another one that when he got shot. Or oh, something damn. Like that. There's like a couple of weird theories. Or Jar Jar Binks. Or Jar Jar Binks. I'm telling you, Jar Jar Binks is the Sith that they've been looking for all this time. Yeah. He's been playing everybody like a fiddle. I mean, Robot Chicken got it right. Robot Chicken did get it right. He is absolutely the guy. I would say then that you can make an argument for Sidious, Vader, and Maul. Because Maul's the only one, if you count the animated stuff, to survive the pit. (laughs) He's the only one to survive falling in a pit. So I almost feel like he has to go all the way up. Boom. Or pretty high up. Boom. But putting him, putting that aside, it's between Sidious and Vader, because Sidious had that long game and yeah. sh- and saw everything. Yet, I mean, Vader's just an animal. Yeah. So, all right, that's all we got for Star Wars. Check back in soon. We're gonna be debating some cool shit. Absolutely. Uh, so, um, check us out on Facebook. Yes, because we are the master debaters, and we will de- be debating all things. Oh, terrible, Jimmy. <laughs>